Hey guys, how's it going? The Haggard Nerd here. Welcome to uh, a patch notes video for the base building update. Uh, this was a patch that was released on February 22nd. I'm a little late getting to it, but uh, I want to still wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys since I'm just now getting a chance to do so. So I'm going to go through both of the patch notes for 0.6.0 and 0.6.2 uh, because uh, a couple of hotfix patches have been released since. So um, this is a really interesting update because as you can see it adds a whole bunch of different stuff and it really changes some core mechanics so let's go ahead and dig into the notes here and we'll see what's new so the base building update is asking your biggest update to date uh that includes the research update by the way whether underground on a mountaintop or on faraway planets all the base building and power systems will allow you to create efficient bases that are all your own uh the update includes 20 plus new art pieces which includes platforms modules items to print and much more that being said this update is the only is only the beginning for the base building as a system we already have begun development on more features and content to continue to grow the already robust robust foundation so a uh, couple of updates um including the 0.6.1 update uh they fixed some crashes uh missing sounds um some weird uh, three seat shuttle glitches fixed a bug where users were, an a were able to unpack base modules that were not on a large platform. Okay, I don't really know about that because I haven't really gotten into here and, and really checked this out, but man, you guys can really see what's going on. Like, like it really changes the way bases look now, which is kind of cool. Uh, now let's see here. Creating bases has changed fundamentally at its core. Now astroneers can create bases however they like with a variety of new and movable platforms and new ways to connect those platforms together. That means no more using dynamite if you accidentally place down a platform, which is absolutely wonderful. You can see down here, uh, the GIF here, that uh, you can move them around and place them how you want, connect them how you want with all the new uh, the tethers between uh, the conduits basically between the platforms and stuff, which is kind of cool. Uh, we've introduced freestanding movable platforms. Uh, so the two versions, the medium and the large platforms, um, they can be placed and rotated individually. That's really cool. Uh, there's a new thing called the fabricator, which basically you plop it down. It's kind of like a printer, but uh, it creates things for you that a printer won't. I, I'm not really sure the point of this, but uh, we'll get in here and see what's going on. Small fabricator allows you to bootstrap an entire base from your backpack. Ooh and is used to print medium platforms and medium fabricators and medium fabricators printing large platforms and base modules. So you can basically start an entire base from your backpack. That's really cool. Okay, so the medium printers and vehicle bays remain unchanged for now. That's good to know. Um, the standing habitat module has received a visual update. You can see it right here. Yeah, instead of that little tiny, like little um, pod looking thing, now it's this big hab module looking thing, which is kind of cool. It's got to build an oxygenator power generation system, nighttime running lights. Well, oh, that'd be interesting. And four power connectors. Oh, man. Okay, all printed base modules and platforms now come in the form of packaged crates. So see down here, uh, they come in these little boxes, and that's going to be interesting. So I think that means we can carry things around, and we'll see how that works once we hop into the game here. Uh, added a new landing pad, which automatically deploys next to the habitat. I believe if we scroll up, we can see that over here. That's what this is. And probably right there. That's what that is, too. So the, the new, like, base thing. Um, landing pad, yeah. Uh, so be aware that calling in new packages in the landing pad will destroy existing ones. Alrighty, good to know. Bases created in previous builds will automatically migrate to the new base building system. That's good to know. So if you're using an old save, you can do that. But also, uh, use old saves at your own risk. Always, always the thing with this game. Uh, all holograms have received a visual update. That's going to be interesting to check out. So we'll see that in the game. Uh, the introdu introductory landing sequence has been updated. Ooh, okay. That'll be fun to check out. Uh, implemented all implemented all new power systems. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of batteries. Uh, change the power system over to a system that uses streaming shared power pools. That's really interesting. That means items that need power to from uh, need power pull from available power generators on a connected network all modules rovers and crash solar rays have been migrated to use the new power system see how a uh, to see how a network is doing check out the new power indicators on the platforms i'm going to assume that's what these are uh cable and cable connector art has been updated cables and their connectors are now indicators for how much power is running through a network when the indicator is red the network needs power and all modules connected to it 
will not run at optimal efficiency. As you add more power, the indicator will begin to expand and connected modules will run faster. That's cool. That's cool. So that's that's interesting now. Uh, add a new directional power tool extenders. Ooh, extenders. I've not seen those yet. Extenders are printable in bundles of five from your backpack. Extenders provide directed power flow, which redirects excess power from one pool to another. Drag a cable from the extender to indicate the direction of power and where you'd like it to flow. Power flow is indicated by the large chevron on the cable. So that's what this is right here. Interesting. Okay, so you use connectors in order to get like, say right here you have like a solar power farm and you want that to be pulled back into your base. That's how you connect that. That's really cool, actually. Added small standalone platforms for power items. Okay. When placed on the ground, small solar panels, small generators, small wind vanes, and work lights will now deploy standalone bases with two power connectors. Oh, that's cool. That's something I've always kind of wanted to do with like the work light and stuff like that. That's cool. These uh, Use these to add power to your network. Uh, power bespoke standalone platforms or as extenders that also add power. Small work lights also contain spikes. You can now stick to any terrain surface regardless of orientation. So I think that means you can run it up walls and stuff, which is really cool. Holy crap, this is still going. Okay, interaction updates. Uh, so there's this whole use thing, which basically instead of just like clicking on something, you now have to like hold the button down, uh, which is what this is. And that kind of changes the way you interact with things, uh, but you'll see that in game as we play. So you added a new interact uh, verb examine. It's similar to use, but now instead of use, it's like you look at something uh, and that uh, allows you to examine the object to interact with it. Um, and that's kind of dependent on the thing you're interacting with. So hold Q on keyboard or Y on gamepad will now open the catalog, uh, whether or not the backpack is open. So that's basically the same deal with examine. You basically examine yourself in order to uh, open the catalog now. All right. Um, Shortle buttons can now toggle items. Cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this a little bit here. Basically, just talking about how you use the the, the examine thing. So other updates: small generators now auto pull nearby organic resources when they're actively generating power. That's cool. Small generators will now automatically turn on when an organic resource is added. I thought that was a thing. Firework rocket has been added to the catalog as an unlockable unlock object. Holy crap, we're going to make fire, uh, fireworks. That's going to be awesome. Uh, control panels, no, control panel buttons, including the research platform, have been updated to change color and icon depending on whether pressing it will start, stop, or cancel a process. There's insufficient power. Hmm. Interesting. Tutorial help menu carousel has been updated to include base building power and integration changes. Uh, informational widgets will that appear at the bottom of the screen have received visual updates. Good lord, I uh, can't say that apparently. Optimized rendering of hovering info text that appears over holograms. Okay, so that was, so like the words and stuff that appear, appear on screen, they should look better. Made several changes to the gravity systems system to improve stability of rovers. I'm excited to check that out because uh, rovers have always been kind of a pain in the butt. Medium generators now produ provide about 30% more power. That's good. That's really, really good. Okay, and then of course uh, the SES vlog where they talk about building this uh, the new hab module. So definitely check that out if you've not done that. There's a number of bug fixes, of course. I'm going to leave that alone. You can check that out. The roadmap highlight: we're looking for dedicated servers Q2 of this year. Uh, base building implemented and in progress. So that is what we're doing right now. Uh, Research 2.1 has been implemented, and uh, of course they're updating that as we go. Weathered and hazards quarter two of this year, and terrain 2.0, which I'm super super excited about or two of this year. So very, very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, a lot in this update and uh, just a quick once over. We did already have 0.6.2, which I'll go ahead and just do a quick once over here. That was uh, released February 28th. Um, you find these updates in 0.6.2.0, the current build of the game. Uh, there is a 0.6.1 uh, released to Steam to address some issues. A large storage on rover or on a large platform will now pass through power. Okay, apparently that was not a thing that was happening. Okay, so uh, people were messing around trying to figure out all different ways to um, plug stuff in and apparently that caused some issues. So that's what's going on there. Uh, there's some more bug fixes with some sounds some interactions. Um, cool stuff. There are some crash fixes there. And then uh, there are some nor known issues here. So uh, definitely check those out. If, if you're having some issues, definitely compare that to the known issues here. 
and uh, they will be addressed, I'm sure, as soon as they can get around to it. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this review of the patch notes. I kind of fumbled through it. I do apologize for that. Uh, but at least you guys know what's going on with uh, Astroneer and um, come and check out the videos I will upload here soon of these specific games of this specific patch. And yeah, I'll catch you there. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Take care.